We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. First down throw, Tannehill. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 34-yard line. Second and 11 now. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Derek Henry, the ball. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. First down, Titans gain of 12. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From the 50, it's Tannehill. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, Tannehill. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. There's a nice move. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. Yeah. And you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit, he is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. run got three now here's second and seven a shotgun snap for Tannehill this one caught by Davis and he'll be brought down at the 21 just shy of the 20 in the red zone it's a gain of three brings up third and four
This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now it's Tannehill. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. By the wide receiver. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No, Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Throwing on second down. Tannehill and into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown from 13 yards out and the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive quite the drive there to get things started they took up the bulk of the first quarter and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now, flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. 29-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. He's brought down Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On the slant, complete to Hopkins. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Third and short, Drake. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, they just watched the other team take the ball downfield and score, so they knew that this drive, this opening drive, was on them. And, boy, that was important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. Now on first down, Drake again. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Shotgun now for Murray. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. 
That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Murray now on first down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Jack Crawford just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, this one complete to Christian Kirk. Touchdown, Cardinals! Christian Kirk, 53 yards. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. He meant fly go. route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Tannehill. Quick slant to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A first down carry for Henry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Right at midfield. A gain of nine brings up second and one. Come up now on second and a yard. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Tannehill throwing complete there to Humphreys. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 
This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The intended receiver that time, Adam Humphreys. And it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. From the 21, it's second and 10. Again, Tannehill. That's complete. Middle of the field to Humphreys. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Tannehill throwing again. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought that had to be? Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. <laughs> Who picked off that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, oh, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. Gonzalez good on the extra point, And that makes the score 14-7. to So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Tannehill. And this complete to Henry over the middle. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Now Tannehill, a trying for Humphreys, but it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker Jordan Hicks. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38 yard line. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. 
Throwing again. Murray. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. starting field position on this drive but now they face a third and four out of the gun here's Murray he's got a man it's Williams now the card is going to call another timeout their second as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one First down, Murray steps away. He's going to take off with it. He'll have a first down inside the 10. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. From the gun, Murray. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. To DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals push further out in front. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Zane Gonzalez. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. On the return, here's Edmonds. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
Operating from the gun. Murray, the pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a, gain a gain of 10, first down, Arizona. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Three yards remain for second down. They'll hand it to Drake here on the option. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun, Murray. They'll roll him out right. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. On first down, Drake. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Throwing on second and three. Murray on the move to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Kevin Byard, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raider, gets the sack. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket. But in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. From the gun on third down, Murray rolling to his right. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Makes the score Cardinals 21, Titans 14.
So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The football going back over to Arizona now. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. Forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. That's the end of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, Murray caught left side, Hopkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On first and 10, here's Murray. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. Not much there, only a yard. Well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw again on second down. Murray over the middle complete. It's Williams. Complete two four back. yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Cardinals on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Now Murray again. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jadavian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. When the holding penalty sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Tannehill on first down. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. 
the intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Tannehill getting this complete to Smith. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Good for a Tennessee Titan. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. First down now, but that clock rolling. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. High throw, but the catch is made. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. So he's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. Brings up a nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. First down, Titans gain of 12. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He's back to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Extra point try for Goskowski. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That ties the game at 21 apiece. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. 
But you know, sitting up here in the booth, take some gambles. I, I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. A running play there, gonna get 10 and a quick first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Murray to throw. He'll set up the screen to Drake. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. An eight yard pickup. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Murray from midfield. Airing this one out for Fitzgerald. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition, Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down and attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First throw in overtime for Tannehill. That's complete to his tight end, Ferkser. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 26. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts them in field goal range, but let's face it, they don't want three here. They want six. Well, you do these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They've had some success here in overtime on this opening drive, running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there available to him. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. But it looked like the Titans were able to recover, and indeed, they will keep possession of the ball. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Smith catches left side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First and 10 at their own eight-yard line. First throw of overtime for Murray. Sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. Second and two. Murray, a give. This is Drake. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. What can Murray do now with his drive? Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Drake. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Murray now on first down. Caught left side, Williams. A gain of six there on first. A little dinking and dunking that they're doing. It, at some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. Take what they give you, but make them tackle. In other words, get it to one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. Working with a second and four. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First down, Arizona. Overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10.
Throwing again, Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Touchdown, Arizona. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just huh? want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Nashville.